Hello Divine Gemini and welcome to your reading. Gemini, we're going to see what messages the Divine wants you to receive from this reading. So, Divine, what is the messages that you have for Gemini? What is the messages that you want Gemini to receive in this timeless reading? Now Gemini, remember that these videos are generalized. So take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't, because that's going to resonate with someone else who is watching this reading. And I have also started a love channel. So for any of you who are interested in love readings and matters of the heart, you can go to the description box below and go to that channel and you can watch those videos that are there. I am going to get your card for you and we can see what is coming up. So Gemini. Mm -hmm. All right. The first card that is coming up for you. Yay. This is how I'm feeling today. The first card that is coming for you, Gemini, is here talking about blessings, feeling blessed. We see you here on your journey to collecting all the blessings that are here for you. We see you feeling peaceful, having a resolution about whatever it is that maybe you were feeling challenged and you were feeling unstable and worried. But now you are here in your heart center and you are allowing your heart to lead you. And not only that, by allowing your heart to lead you, you are then journeying to building something new. Because we have the master number 22, which is all about building. So the divine here, Gemini, is asking you to feel blessed about what it is that you are working on creating, working on building, working on manifesting. You are journeying there and as you are journeying there with your heart opened with excitement, this is when you are able to collect all the delicious and divine blessings that are on this journey. So I love that card opening up this reading for you, uh, Gemini. So the next card that is coming up is all about Mm, changes. I told you, you are journeying to somewhere, to your goals, to your future. There is a sense of moving. There is a sense of going somewhere and you're understanding that by going somewhere, this is the winds of change that are here. I was trying to focus on that card, but you didn't want to focus. So the show must go on. So you are here understanding that there are winds of change. You are understanding, Gemini, and if you haven't really thought about this, the divine wants you to start thinking about this because you are going to feel blessed. You are going to feel magical and prosperous if you are willing to move with these winds of changes. All right? And these winds of change are going to be blowing you to go in the direction that you should be going in. We're seeing that the energy of our woman on the blessed card, she is in the energy of going forward with faith, with hope. And not only faith and hope, it's even deeper than that. There is an understanding that if winds of change are here, I am going to move with that because I understand that the divine knows more than I do. I understand that the divine can assist me in moving me towards what is good for me. So there is an energy here that the divine is asking you not to hold on too tight to what you currently have, but let go. Have faith that the divine will bless you. Have faith that the divine will blow you in the right direction, but it is always a but. But if you are willing to also put in the work, all right, the divine is there directing you on what and where you should be going. But you are understanding that this journey is your life. This journey is about co-creating with the divine. So you are getting in your little shell and you're going where you need to go. But not only that, you're understanding that the goals that you want to achieve, you have to put action. So the movement that is in the card is about you putting in the action to go 
and achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. Everyone is different who's watching this reading. I feel that for some people, they're really wanting to manifest a home. Some people maybe want to move abroad, move overseas, and they're getting their visas. They're getting that thumbs up. Maybe you have been stuck in a country, in a place, and you have wanted to move, but because of everything that is going on in the world, you have been feeling stuck. But the divine wants you to know that there's going to be changes. Things are going to be changing in your favor. So be ready to move. Be ready and be willing. And not only that, also have faith that everything is going to work out for your greatest good always. So the next card that is coming up for you is saying that there is some things that you have started working on, Gemini, and you haven't finished them. There is a feeling of having so many projects, so many things that feel unfinished, incomplete. There's many unfinished symphonies. What is that all about? The divine is saying that your energy, your energy rather, feels a little bit scattered because you're starting something. And then when the energy of the thing that you've started, when that energy of excitement is gone and it's time to put in the hard work, you are losing interest. And then you're going and starting something else. So you have all these unfinished symphonies all over the place. Instead, the divine is asking you to go and start finishing some of those masterpieces that you've been working on. Go start finishing all these things that you've started. Go on your computer and close all those tabs that I just opened. Because it's a waste of energy. You know that when there's all these closed, rather open tabs on your computer, your computer starts running slow. Similarly, with these unfinished projects, with these unfinished things, this is your mind still having that tab still opened because you haven't finished this project. So your brain cannot completely close off this project that you haven't finished. So all over the place in your mind, there's all these tabs that are opened. The divine is asking you to go and start finishing some of these projects some of these symphonies that you've been working on so that you can allow some of this space and energy that is being taken up by unfinished work so that you can allow that to get closed and then allow yourself something new to open. So the divine is asking you to really be in that energy of looking at all the unfinished projects. This could be in your home. You start decorating one room, you get bored, you get confused halfway through, you're like, eh, I'll do that another time. You go in your garage, you start cleaning up, it gets boring and it's like, oh, I'll do that another time. You go and do this, you go do that. When are we finishing anything? That is the divine wanting to know. So go and start with the simplest task, the simplest task that you know you haven't finished. Go finish that and then start working on other things. And that by doing that, you allow your space in your brain to be opened for greater things to come, for your brain to have that, that working space, that speed to do other things rather than just being clogged up by all these hundreds of things that are unfinished in your mind. The divine is really specific about that message for you. So let's see what the tarot cards want you to know, Gemini. Divine, what else do you want Gemini to know? What other messages do you feel that are important for Gemini in this reading, please? All right, Gemini. All right, let me just pop this to one side. Right, let's see what is happening. So you have, yay, you have great energies, Gemini. Really good. You have the three of cups. The Three of Cups is about celebration. It's about feeling supported. It's just a wonderful energy that is here. So again, we saw you here feeling blessed. And not only that, we have the Three of Cups and now we see you here celebrating. Is it that maybe you are celebrating because you have gone and finished all these unfinished projects? And by doing that, this has allowed you to have this energy of celebration have this energy of my brain doesn't feel so cluttered because you freed your mind and you freed yourself. So not only that, 
the Three of Cups is my favorite card because you are not celebrating alone. You are celebrating with other people. So I see that maybe as you're starting to finish off some of the symphonies, you are realizing that you need help. You're realizing that you need to collaborate with other people. And by collaborating with other people, these unfinished symphonies are starting to get finished and they're bringing an energy of joy. They're bringing an energy of blessings. And so this is amazing, Gemini, honestly. If there's anything that feels unfinished and this unfinished symphony could be even be relationships maybe there is that person that you haven't spoken to for a long time because you had a fallout but in your heart you are still carrying that person and the divine is saying either you address that feeling of why you are still carrying that person why is that person still in your mind in that way there's a difference about loving someone from a from a distance, there's a difference with being held by a feeling of something that is incomplete. So if you feel that there is some incomplete businesses with people, go and finish them. It might just be, maybe you don't want to get in touch with these people because something bad happened or whatever it is that has happened. But in your heart, your heart is still carrying that energy and it needs to get addressed. It needs to get addressed so you can have this energy of celebration. So I might see you here going and getting in touch, writing an email to that person and saying, hey, X, Y, Z, this situation happened. I just wanted to have closure because life is short, right? And if you can't get in touch with that person because this is not maybe your thing, writing a letter to that person and really pouring your heart, your soul into that letter okay and then what you do next is you go fold that letter up go in your garden go outside somewhere and you set that piece of paper alight because by doing that you are allowing those energies that are held up in your heart you are allowing those energies to be burnt to be mutated into something into fire so that they can evaporate and they can go because right now you are holding those energies in your heart because you can't get in touch with this person because for whatever reason no judgment right but the divine wants you to know that this energy being held in your heart is blocking you so if you can't get in touch with that person if even if this is a situation that has happened and that situation feels like it's unfinished symphony go and write that situation a letter i am upset because this is how i feel blah 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 let it all out on a piece of paper it's only you and the piece of paper are gonna know what you've said let it all out feel release it write it out the energy of writing things out releases it from your body and puts it on a piece of paper and then when you fold up that piece of paper you set it alight and as it's burning, just imagine all those feelings just burning and taking that energy away and letting that go. So this is the message that the divine has for you. Gemini, I have to go. I have an architect who's just arrived. So I need to leave you and love you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell. On that note, I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.